What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. I got a channel message in. I was going to go to bed, but I got channeled in, so I decided to, to do this reading. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Okay, so the channel I received was a very toxic ex-co-worker. Um, uh, I, I heard a very toxic ex-co-worker position of high authority above you, Scorpio, is about to try to return back into your life. This person has lied on you in many, many, many ways, has claimed they have slept with you and done other things with you, but it's not the truth. They're coming back to try to cover their ass now. It would not be a wise idea to allow them back. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. It's a long but strong one. Um, I guess one more before I go to bed. So um, a very toxic, okay, so it's a, this person is a Scorpio. It could be masculine or fem Scorpio, but they were a position of high authority above you. So it could be a, when you work with this person. So you don't work with this person now. They're very, they're very toxic. Um, I guess when you work with them or they're toxic now or whatever. I'm assuming when you work with them, they were toxic. That's probably why you quit. Um, but they're trying to return to your life now. I heard to cover their ass. So I've been pulling in a lot of bosses and supervisors and managers and stuff trying to steal money or did steal money. So they might have probably stole money from you, probably, um, for some of you guys. I didn't hear that part. That's just my assumptive. Uh, logical guesstimate and reasoning on this to try to cover their ass uh, just saying just saying uh, there's a reason they want to come back and it's not for love it's not for frenzies it's uh probably to stick 50 more swords in your back just saying just saying um there's a reason you quit that job and it's probably because it most certainly was because of this person and others Okay, I heard it most certainly was because of this person and others, is what I heard. So it most certainly was because of this person and other people in your toxic work environment. So you quit because of this person, this toxic Scorpio above you. Whether it's a masculine or fem Scorpio, they could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter, charts. They could be masculine or feminine. But um, I heard you quit because of them and other toxic people in your work environment. So they've done something to you. They've done something it sounds like horrible to you, but now they want to come back to try to cover their ass. Heard it would not be smart from spirit to allow them back in your life. So you could take the spiritual message or leave it, but there's a reason I'm getting reason I'm getting it at 103 a.m. on 2522. Just saying, just saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. They're trying to cover their ass. I mean, hell, you were you were underneath them in some shape, form, or fashion. They were either your manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, etc., etc. But they were above you in some shape, form, or fashion. They abused their power, I'm presuming, when you were uh, under their employment. Um, and now they want to come back to cover their ass? No, hell no, no. That's why I don't have friends. That's why I keep to myself. That's why I raise my kids by myself. Because of toxic ass people like this. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. Someone is getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call. A huge, huge, huge wake-up call. I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. That's why. I've seen too many crazy-ass people in my life, and that's just the truth. Too many. Too many. Do I want somebody like that in my household? Hell no. No, I don't. No, I don't. There's a reason I've been legally single for a really long time. And that's the truth. I I don't want toxicity, toxicity in my life. I would hope you guys wouldn't either. Um, somebody really needs to heed, the, heed this warning. And I'm serious. Number one, I mean, it's a spiritual download from the spiritual universe at 103 a.m. on 2522. It must be very important. So number one could be very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Number one, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible date of birth number. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. I said that. Possible green card number, uh, possible jersey number, number one, the void. Hmm. 
Most will turn this person down immediately. Some will call the police. Oh my God, that's strong. Okay. Heard most of you guys will turn this person down immediately and some of you guys will call the police. So we have the void energy. If it was me, and I, I mean, and I had some toxic ass person, coworker trying to come back into my life, whether it's to be a friend of me, to stab 50 more swords in my damn back, or, oh, hey, I want to date you. It's been 10 years, but I want to date you. What the hell? No. Nay, nay. You get off my property or I'm calling the police. And that's just the truth. That's the truth for real, for real. That's for me. Of course, I can only speak for myself. I cannot speak for anybody else in my collective. But that's exactly what the hell I would do. No, no. There's a reason I've separated from toxic energies in my life. I don't know about you guys, but there's a reason I've separated from toxic energies. And that's just the truth. So the void. This person is going to be very, very pissed that you do not fall into their manipulative games. And one significant police report will be very significant. Make sure to keep it. Get a copy and keep it. Oh my God. Whoa. So I heard this person is going to be very pissed that you don't fall into their manipulative games. So this Scorpio is very highly manipulative. Whether it's masculine or feminine and they're a person above you. Or they were a person above you. I heard uh, it. Uh, they're going to be pissed when you don't fall into their manipulative games. So, they're going to try to come back and smooge you. No, nay, nay, nay fucking nay, just saying. Um, I heard, and one significant police report will be very significant. Make sure to keep a copy. So, um, I don't, everybody's police departments are different in different areas and what have you. But I know here, you have to go up to the, um, the actual facility and get the copy of the police report. Um. You take it out resonates wherever you reside, but uh, but I heard make sure to hold on to the police report. Absolutely, that's what I would do. I'd be calling the police in New York damn minute. Any, any of my ex coworkers showed up, and this person was above you. Just saying, just saying. So the void. They're gonna be pissed. I heard they're gonna be pissed that you don't fall into their manipulative games. You were just an employee under them. I mean, what the hell? I mean, obviously, they're trying to come back for some reason. I mean, they're obviously not going to tell you why they want to come back. Let me see if I hear anything else. Stay away from this person. One of these people, they're having a very hard time finding employment. One of these people, they're in serious, serious, serious hot water with the FBI. Serious. Oh, my Lord, this is strong. Okay, I heard a spiritual warning. I heard stay away from this person. Scorpion energy. Whoever this person is to you, they were a position of high authority above you in an employment situation in the past. I can tell you that. But it's at least two Scorpios in the universe. One of them I heard is finding a, having a hard time finding employment right now. So maybe they want to leech off you and your references and your good word and your connections is what I'm thinking for the one finding having a hard time finding employment. And one of them I heard is in um, is in hot water with the FBI. FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation. So this person, that person resides in the United States of America. So yeah, no. Why would you want to be connecting with anybody in the hot water with the FBI? Hell to the his no. Just saying, just saying. Oh my God. Let me see if I hear anything else. Ooh. Several shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this. A Taurus is about to get very heavily involved very soon. It's not going to go well for either, either of these Scorpios soon. Different Taurins for different Scorpios. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. 
Okay, I heard um, several shocking series of shame events are about to occur with this soon. Um, it's two different Scorpios. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Person that's there. It sounds like they're going to try to come to your own personal property, whether you rent or you have a mortgage or it's paid off. It sounds like they're coming to you. One, I think they want connections. They want references. They want your good word. They want um, connections into somewhere in employment for one. For one, they want, um, they're being, I think they're either, I don't know if they're wanted by the FBI yet, or they're about to be wanted by the FBI, but the FBI is on their ass, I'll tell you that, for the criminal one over here. Um, the, either one of these people, I would not want to be around. Uh, that's bad news bears right there, I'm serious. But I've heard several shocking series of chain events are going to occur, and a Taurus is about to heavily get involved, but separate Tauruses for separate Scorpios. So maybe you watch Taurus, or maybe you don't. I'm not sure. But if you do, you have Taurus in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter charts. But I heard different Tauruses for different Scorpios. So a separate Scorp uh, Taurus is going to get involved with this Scorpio. A separate Taurus is going to get involved with this Scorpio. Uh, maybe a, one of these Taurus is an um, FBI agent. So we're pulling in FBI energy for this criminal over here. So you plug it in however it resonates. This is so strong so strong i mean lord yikes um oof. i mean it's scary i don't get me wrong i love being a single woman in 2022 i do because there's too many damn crazies out there but also being a single woman in 2022 i don't want no i mean i'm not saying it's me that this is gonna happen to hell i don't know who it's gonna happen to i i think it's for you guys i'm getting the spiritual downloads for you guys this channel is for y'all but what I'm trying to say is I can only speak for myself. So if it was me this happened to, I'd be calling the police in New York minute. I don't care if I was single or married. If I was here by myself, uh-uh, nay, nay. You better stay the, hell, stay the hell away from me. I separated from you for a reason. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Don't be sorry, no drama. No drama llama. Just saying. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. One very significant phone call is about to be made soon and very quickly. Okay, I heard one very significant phone call is about to be made soon and very quickly. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I didn't hear who was making the phone call. Maybe it's you, Taurus. Maybe it's some another sign of you guys that's going to make a phone call quickly. Um, I don't know. Somebody's about to make a phone call quickly. You plug it in how it resonates. I didn't hear the sign on who's going to make the phone call quickly. All right. I love y'all. Everybody have a good night. Namaste.